channel Kids Cloud. Please subscribe to this channel Kids Cloud. Types of Friction Friction opposes the motion of an object or surfaces in contact. There are four types of frictions static, rolling, sliding, and fluid friction. We have learned about static and rolling friction in our previous video. Here we will discuss sliding and fluid friction. Let's start with the sliding friction. Sliding friction is friction between objects or surfaces as they slide against each other. It is also called as kinetic friction. Sliding friction is always less than static friction. Skis sliding against snow or kid playing on a slide are the examples of sliding friction. How sliding friction is different than rolling friction? Sliding friction is always greater than rolling. Here is an example. A heavy wooden box is there on the ground. If you want to move this box, then you have to make it slide by giving a push at one side. It is sliding friction. In another option, you can use a hand cart and put the box on it. You can now roll the hand cart and carry the box. What do you think? Which way is easier, first or second? In the first case, there is a sliding friction between the bottom surface of the box and the ground. When you push the box, you have to overcome this friction. A more force is needed to start an object moving across a surface. It needs more energy and effort. Additionally, it will take time too. Let's discuss the second case. When you put the box on a hand card, friction changes from sliding to rolling. In this case, less force required as the rolling of one object over another requires a smaller area of surface contact. It is easy to overcome the rolling friction than sliding. Thus we can understand the difference between static, sliding and rolling friction with the example of the box. A box at rest is having more friction than the sliding one, whereas the rolling box has still lesser friction than the sliding one. The fourth type of friction is fluid friction. First we need to understand what is fluid. A substance that can flow and change its shape when acted upon by a force is called as fluid. Water, air, blood, fuels, any other gas or liquid are the examples of fluid. Now what is fluid friction? It is a force of resistance between the object and the fluid when it moves through the fluid. This frictional force or resistance exerted by a fluid opposes the motion of an object through that fluid. It is called as drag. Swimming is the example of fluid friction. When a person or a fish swims, he experiences a backward push from the water. This push is nothing but the frictional force 
exerted by the water on him. To overcome this, he pushes the water out of the way in a forward direction. The drag of water slows down the motion of moving objects such as boats, ships, submarines, etc. Fishes and other aquatic animals also experience such kind of fluid friction. So friends, have you ever thought why are aeroplanes streamlined in shape? Here is the reason. Similar to water, air also exerts friction on moving objects such as aeroplanes, birds, etc. It is called as air resistance. Even the vehicles moving on the ground or water also experiences air resistance. This air drag obstructs the speed of vehicle and eventually more fuel consumed to overcome this force. Therefore, the aeroplanes or rockets have given a streamlined shape to reduce this resistance. Based on types of friction, this is a task for you. Can you explain the static, sliding and rolling friction by taking an example in your everyday life? Which friction is there when we write with a pencil on paper? Have you ever experienced fluid friction? Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel.